So believe it or not, today is the day in which the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Super Easter Egg in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies has been pretty much confirmed. I would say at this particular moment in time, with no word from Activision or Treyarch at this moment in time, that the Super Easter Egg in Black Ops 3 is pretty much 99.9% .9 legitimate and indeed is going to happen. What am I talking about? Well, I'm referring to the fact that the Giants, the bonus DLC Zombies map has actually just gone on sale on the PS4, PS3 and Xbox One and the PC for a total of $6 and well why does this confirm the fact that the Super Easter Egg will be coming to Black Ops 3 Zombies? Well if you're not sure a couple of weeks ago now I made a video talking about the Super Easter Egg talking about how the Super Easter Egg was found within the Black Ops 3 game files. We seen coding for each individual map that that suggests is that some brand new Dark Ops challenges will be coming to Black Ops 3 in the near future and also that there is going to be a super easter egg within Black Ops 3 Zombies expected to be incorporated during DLC number 4. Of course we've seen the gateworm icons that are available for each individual map and well a lot of people doubted this information because the Giants which is the pre-ordered DLC map also has a gateworm icon which suggests that players that did not pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 3 wouldn't be able to complete the Super Easter Egg and quite simply a lot of people thought the Super Easter Egg wasn't going to be a thing because of the case. Now of course because the Giant is available for individual purchase it means that this Super Easter Egg theory and this Super Easter Egg information all comes back to light and does indicate that we will be seeing the Super Easter Egg expected to launch in DLC number 4. Now a few bits and bobs of information about the Super Easter Egg. As of yet, it's not entirely clear how it's going to be completed. We only currently know that you will need to complete all of the Easter Eggs on all of the current Zombies maps to be able to unlock all of the Gateworms and the Summoning Key with the little icon that is displayed on the main menu maps. Now, as well as this, there's also little bits and hints out there that a lot of information in the code, for example, is to do with some Easter Egg steps, but as of yet, they've not been activated from the developer side of the game so it's expected once DLC 4 launches that the developers will activate these easter egg steps in all of the individual maps. Now as of yet it's not entirely clear why Treyarch have decided to incorporate a super easter egg within Zombies. A lot of people are speculating that it's because it's the end of the Zombies storyline or something like that. I think that this is possible, it's definitely possible that the Origins characters so to speak could possibly be ending and in Treyarch's next title we could see something entirely different who knows they could be working on their own zombies game or anything like that there is just so many theories so many questions out there that we're not entirely sure my own little theory is the fact that because easter eggs are getting so very well completed in a rapid amount of time that maybe Treyarch wanted to add something bigger and better and harder into Black Ops 3 that we will have to complete moving forward and who knows this could keep a lot of people addicted to the game after Black Ops 3's lifespan is indeed over. But I would love your opinions in the comment section below. Let's get a discussion going and I will definitely be interested in your theories. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave the video as that. If you want more information on the Super Easter Egg, I'll leave the original video that I did down in the description below and you guys can go and check it out. But anyway guys, without further ado, that is pretty much it from me. I'm in Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.